Hello, in this video we're going to be learning how to train our own model in Google Collab with YOLO V5. So last time we left off by setting up, uh, by setting up our data set for our mass data set which we got from RoboFlow. And so now once we ran this last cell here we can see that it has the two names, mask or no mask. So it's basically a binary so it'll detect either a mask or if the person's not wearing a mask. So after running that, we want to run the next cell. And one after that. One right here. And if you want to customize anything in the Yolo V5 training, you can do that over here. Okay. So now, before we run our training, uh, we need to configure the amount of images, batch size, and epoch. So for the images, it's just the amount of images in our data set. In this case, we have 149. So I did a couple of tests with this data set and I found that the fastest and sort of the best one for the settings was a batch size of 32 and an epoch of 500. And if you don't want to do your own training, I'll have one set up with a Google Drive link in the description below. So you can just download it and upload it over here so you can use to run. Alright, so if you want, you can start training and you just do shift enter. And if you also want to see a uh, tensor board here, you can also run that. And after this finishes training, uh, the tensor board will pop up. Alright, and you can see that start the epox over here, 1 out of 499. Alright. And this should take around 15 to 20 minutes. These GPUs are pretty good and it shouldn't take too long. Alright, so once it's done, the TensorBoard cell should open up. And here you can see all the info, for example, the loss rate for the object loss and the box loss. And down here, it's already set to 4, we can change that to 0. Make sure to run this cell over here. Alright, so it's called best.pt, so that's the model that we created and we can export that in a second. And we can find it in the runs, which is down here. So that's the result. Alright, and here. Here's the weight that we're going to export, it's called best.pt. So we can close all of this. Alright, and down here. We also want to, here, we can test our model on a couple of images. Let's take one second. Alright, and if we want to look at the results, we just run this cell. And yeah, you can see the text mask down here. Mask, did detect a mask down here. But the long again, the longer you train, the better it'll get. Here's a mask, 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 mask. Even detects this person all the way back there. That's pretty good. Detects a mask here. It did miss the person over here. So overall, I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10. So here, it didn't detect no mask. So it also needs more training. I also thought the book was a mask. So when I see two boxes, when it shows on the same person like this, usually that's an indication that you probably need to train it a bit more. Either you want to probably increase the box. I would recommend around probably to go 3,000. 500 really didn't take that long, so I, I would go to 3,000. And so now, if we want to export, all we need to do is mount our drive. Alright, so you just click on the link, click on your email, press allow, and you want to copy this code. And I'm going to blur that out. Alright, just paste it over here, press enter. It should take a couple seconds. 
All right, and we're mounted. And now we can export our model to Drive. And it should be there now. Now, if you want to try this model on a video, you can upload your own test file, which I download down here, and I'll link in the description. So all we need to do is upload over here. And this bar right here shows our progress. And usually uploading takes a little bit. All right, so we can see that it's finished and we see test.mp4. All right, so one thing I did want to mention, or so when you upload your model, which in this case is best.pt and my video, which is test.mp4, make sure you put them in the YOLO v5 folder. Otherwise, it's going to think it's missing when you run the video test or when you run the video over here. So yeah, just make sure you add them in the YOLO v5 folder. And here you can see how it goes through the FPS. All right, and once it's done, you can go to the YOLO v5, inference, and then output, and you can download the video. And once it's done, it should download right here, and you can open the video. As you can see, it's tracking the faces. There's a pretty good confidence, but yeah, you can see that it does need. Uh, bit more epochs and so yeah that's pretty much it for this video I will make sure to link everything in the description below including the test video a model if you don't want to train and I'll also include another model with which I trained for 3000 epochs and next week I will be making a new video explaining everything about epochs batches um, and yeah everything about that so it's gonna be a pretty deep explanation around that topic and yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.